down with an air dodge, or will you just get taken to the top? And <laughs> it's not the top where you want to be. That's not the the, the game overs. The uh, the game overs for them, not not you, not for you. It's like <laughs> you don't get to win that. Yeah. <laughs> and Pharaoh starting things off, getting the down air or two up air, but at the same time giving getting a good amount of damage as well, keeping this even, getting these up airs, just really playing both their games the same way. Yeah, that, that's that's interesting about like Yoshi down air is that even though yes it's a multi hit, it's one of the few multi hits that like not every single hit can actually really really wants to like out trade it. Oh my! All right, bro is inventing. Uh, uh. And yeah, and Edison for, put the wrong filament. That light bulb was not on. <laughs> well, the light has been turned off. Oh, oh and yeah, right, so is that stock. Now that that was a nice setting side up. Yeah. Gordon uh, Ramsay, ten out of ten. Anyway, um, we got Pharaoh just keeping this even as well as Kevin. Um, so it's really just up to them to play their game, get their combo starter, and get the damage going, and hopefully get the kill off of it. But at the same time, both characters can really just do explosive yeah. damage and really just play for those last hit scenarios. That's the thing though, like Yoshi really has the advantage of the fact that like not only does he have slightly more range on his moves, even though like certain out of shields and certain like his, his shield pressure can be a little bit more you know one dimensional in, in certain regards, but like his single hits, like his moves as combo starters are just as good, and they're even better than Mario's as single hits. Like there, like you can either just kill with that back air or do drag down bear, which straight up I'm sorry that that if you know how to do that, Yoshi like jumps a tier in the tier list. Yeah, that's a huge difference. Yeah, that drag down uh, bear is just. Like, one of the best kill confirms that Yoshi has besides maybe, like, um, forward tilt to up air. Yeah. Or, or even just, like, the back hit of up air, uh, uh, of up tilt into up air. Oh, my. That's, like, GPS right on your position. Yeah. I'd say for sure Kevin has oh, good DI on that. Not going to be hit with the up air, but Kevin has a good amount of lead to catch up, especially with how heavy Yoshi is. Yeah, that's another cool thing that's like, I, I, you see in both the big Smash games, it's like Yoshi's starting to use down B to like, uh, to like because it, has, it sets him high up, as well as uh, you know to, to grab ledge faster, as well as you know just snap from farther away. Yeah, because you don't want to do lazy recoveries, especially because parrying egg into anything is pretty good at just stuffing uh, the recovery of Yoshi. Yeah. All right, gets the flood. Nice. And that's another thing. Is like. You know, correct use of Flood in, in Fireball, you can actually, like, outzone. Like, I literally saw Squabe, uh, Squabe for Zafro, get, like, hugely outzoned because all of his grenades be flooded back, and then you get, like, Fireball, like, to interrupt. Yeah. Just Mario Mario can play just very patient, and Kevin, I have definitely seen play that patient game. Yeah. So this is going to be very much just who can really get that hit in to finish the stock. And I feel like Pharaoh will definitely have that advantage when it comes down to it. Just overall getting the last hit. Oh, oh the American Air Dodge. All right. No jump as well. Up nice. early, gets, so going to be able to get back. Gets first class, American Airlines, back to the center stage. Wow. That yeah. was a great spacing. And, like, as you were saying earlier, the fact that, like, you know, I think Mario in this game is, like, his best play style is, like, movement camp platform poke. Yeah. Because like he he has the frame data immediately like oh you, you did something bam here's a frame four move Hair, here's a frame frame three air, air, like anti air and, and like his whip line but that was great placement of that up air really just getting in between the fireballs as well as the hitboxes that that is like that is something unique about the, this matchup is that like a good unless you're fighting a sortie and you know most of the time you can just like fastball in air like you would in air dodge but you know Yoshi's up air like. He, even if we're, like worst case scenario it trades, you just die. Like that move is so so strong. Yeah. And it really isn't affected that much by staling because of just how high like the you know the growth and the base knockback is. Yeah, I'd say for sure, Kevin needs to play it. I'd say a little bit more. I would say optimally with just getting these combos going because there were a lot of situations where the combos were just broken and the reversals came through. Yeah. Nice, good get up attack. Taking, taking the check. Uh, try, try to get the, the either neutral air dodge or, or whiff and air, trying to break out the confirm. Yeah, and that was another situation where the advantage wanted to come through, but just didn't as the reversal would also come through. And the trade wow. 
going to be going in Pharaoh's favor as basically dragged down and semi spiked. Still, still a page out of Haven Wario book, you know, Mr. Dino King. Uh, he loves he loves using you know the semi spike of, of Wario Dare to gimp people, but I didn't know you could do that with this one. Yeah, it's a pretty good tool, uh, somewhat inconsistent, but it still works. Yeah, Kevin though, you know, Kevin. Wow, calls out the the, uh, the narrow force smash. I really, like just playing around the edge of the platform, knowing that like Yoshi kind of has to either max space something, which takes a while to set up, or go onto the platform, which you know you're at the very edge, so you can just shark it up air or like shark it air. Oh my! Oh, the flood saved him. The it win box, so he wasn't able to, uh, to do a like fair smash. Yeah, that was a really fortunate situation for Kevin, but. Gonna be uh, confirmed on anyway as the bear two up air is going to come through. Yeah, that was that was looking like Plankton with that Plan Z coming out. Like, oh, they <laughs> missed, but I, I I got a plan. I'm ready. Yeah, and right now, Pharaoh just keeping this lead going, and okay. it really needs to come down to Kevin to really secure this stock, and that's what they're trying to do with these up airs into the fair, but not gonna be able to get the fair. I love the adaptation from. Kevin, knowing that like Farrell really, really likes has such intricate knowledge of his own um what like what he can armor and uh, until when so going for the, the the down throw and then not trying to like fair him because you gotta get armored or fade, fade back away so he was looking for the a better punish off off a of weight yeah in general Pharaoh is just oh wow really fishing for these uh, neutral bees right now as uh, Kevin is getting not hit by all of them but just enough of them that it is really coming through for Pharaoh. All right, there's there's a Mario Party mini game, the mash. <laughs> the mash. Yeah, this is secretly Mario Party. We just don't know it. Yeah, you know that. Oh, this yeah. is where we need Ludwig to take over the controller. But just like <laughs> we need Ludwig to take over the controller, we need to mash the you know all control as soon as that shield break was taken away. Yeah. Yeah, that was like th those low down bees are like so hard because. That's another thing where like certain characters, if they can interrupt their 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 upwards momentum off their jump, can can like really really scare you and and have so many more mix-ups because like you you're like good players who you know who are very experienced with this game, intu intuitively know the jump heights out of like mo most if not all the characters. So when that jump height is like interrupted, they have to think about wait wait a second they they can no longer do these type of moves. What is still on the table that they can hit me with, and like how how do I play to you know, what's my out here? Yeah. And while you're caught up, like, reassessing, you know, you get smacked in the face, like, with a, with a shield breaker that, you know, if you failed the spot dodge. Yeah, that was so nice, just getting underneath there, because he, he really didn't, he'd just gotten punished for, you know, fastball and air dodging up being. That was really Yeah, cool. that's, because, like, most other players there would have fared, would have, you know, would have nared, or they would have, like, fade back dared, and that wasn't a bad position, because, because of the head intangibility and how, like, how Yoshi generally spaces himself out on your shield, it covers that angle, that, that 45 degree angle perfectly. The us smash out of shield, yeah. Yeah, that was definitely a situation where Kevin had to just really sit down. I feel and I feel like camp more. Yeah, like you, you just have to, you know, that that's kind of just how, how like New Age Mario kind of needs to be played. Like you yeah. kind of see it with like Prodigy and then uh, Skinny the Pooh. Where, the, where they're they're relying a lot on flood to reset to reset space and fireball to interrupt until fire either fireball starts converting that they can do like a a medium committing a committal fireball and still get like a uh, like a grab confirm or you know 